But first, our man Hanson. Drop him in his world of sports. Terry Hanson on the world of sports. Here's a guy you'd never want to see in shorts. He's got scoops on, who's got a contract, who's a good dude, and who might be on crack. The show presents Sports Breeze. Rock! Uh, lay it on, Hanson. Well, congratulations to the U.S. women's soccer team for their victory in the World Cup. Uh-huh. That was a stunning result over Japan, 5-2. to two. People have asked me, is this a game changer for soccer in America? I wish I could say yes, but I don't think so. It may be a slight bump in the numbers, but people are watching an event, not a game. Well, this is the same thing they said when they won, was it 15 years ago? Absolutely saying, right. Man, it's finally turned a corner. When I worked in there, they kept saying, it's the sport of the 80s. It's the sport mm. of the 90s. Yeah. It, it uh-huh. kept on yeah. going. I just think there's a niche uh, audience in this country, and that's about it. So it was a pretty it was pretty good ratings for the game. Outstanding but that's ratings. That's because uh, America, like if, if America wasn't playing, I mean, it was Guyana and Japan, Abs- you know. Absolute, would absolutely right. And when we watch a women's game, we're always worried that a men's game is going to break out <laughs> after that. <laughs> you know, last week we talked to Jerry Caldwell, the GM of the Bristol Motor Speedway. We talked about the football game they're going to have there. September 10th, 2016, Tennessee versus Virginia Tech. They have to transition the speedway to a football game uh, August the 20th to September 16th. That's not a lot of time to do that. I researched some of the facts in getting this done. This will be the largest venue to ever host a college football game. It's so big there that nylon could fit inside of the Bristol Motor Speedway. After the August 20th game, they have 400 workers have to power wash facility, clean the suites, install a natural football field, they estimate a tennis 150,000. Mm-hmm. Right now, the the record is 117,000. Michigan. They're going to put a rock base under the field, three foot six inches deep. That's 8,500 tons of rock, 400 truckloads, taking three uh, three 12-hour days. <laughs> also, they have to remove all NASCAR signage because of the NCAA. Mm-hmm. They're going to remove the big screen in the infield, install install other screens, and then install new seating close closer to the field. That's a pretty ambitious job. No kidding. When you get your uh, tickets for this year's race, you can also buy football tickets. That's something to look at. That's going to be something just to see, man. Unbelievable. That bowl, the way the thing is shaped, uh-huh. man. You know, they have a Peachtree Road Race in Atlanta run every uh, July the 4th. It's a 10K run. This year, runner Ben Payne was about to win the race when he slowed down to pose, and he lost by nine one-hundredths of a second <laughs> to a British Olympian. It brought back a memory to me when I was at TBS. Ted Turner had a wild hair one year, wanted us to do the Peachtree Road Race, and said, spare no cost. We did a big failure. We lost $60,000, and nobody watched it. And, of course, it was your fault, as, as it turns out. <laughs> Hanson, if we were sitting in the dark, you'd be Thomas Edison. Uh, sometimes not always pro and college athletes here in, in the, the sports brief. So I had an item from Robert Taylor from Faison, North Carolina. The Duplin County High School women's softball team, the Lady Rebels, won the state championship. A big celebration on the team's return. They had an escort with fire trucks and a sheriff's car. Fireworks that prayed, but they took time to huddle for prayer with Le- Reverend Milford Bounds. Coach Ricky Edwards is a very humble man. He was nowhere to be found because he said, this is the girls' night. Good mm-hmm. stuff, man. All right. Thank you very much, Terrence. <laughs>